Hey, says Biden administration owns inflation, supply chain, energy price increases, border difficult leaving American people in Afghanistan, crime crisis, foreign policy, embarrassment, energy security, letting Putin have his natural gas pipeline, COVID difficult. I tell you what, if you believe that, you are on red. Inflation. Inflation is not controlled by the government. It is controlled by the people who set prices. Inflation, technically speaking, is too many dollars chasing too little products. We have spot shortages. This supposedly free market that can do no wrong. What they did is they said, ah, oh, we got spot shortages here, so we can use it as an excuse to raise prices on everything. Don't blame Biden because we have a type of economy that allows that to happen. Blame the economic system that allows the plutocracy to gouge you and then look at you and say it's Biden because they know you are unwilling to do the research to educate yourself to understand the truth. Who controls the supply chain? It's not government that controls the supply chain. It is the private sector. They are the ones who decide whether they want just-in-time inventory or not. And they chose in order not to keep a supply of inventory on hand for times when there is a backstop, they chose something called just-in-time inventory. And by doing that, they assume those ships are gonna come into port, they're gonna be able to be unloaded and everything is gonna work fine. Comes a pandemic, that is busted. That's not the government, that's the private sector who screwed that up. Energy price increases. There has never been an energy crisis in the world. We have two cartels. We have OPEC and then we have the American cartel the Exxons and the others that also control the pricing in the other countries. And they are the ones who limit or increase the supply of readily available hydrocarbons. And when it is not in their interest, they play with the prices. It's not government, it is the private sector that screwed those things up. Now the border is a different story, that's controlled by the federal government. America has always had a lousy immigration policy because what it has done, it has created policies in Central America that affects the farmers, and that affects all these people. And what do these people do? They go where they can live. They go where they can survive. And we need them. I want every everybody that's listening to me right now to have it at the tip of your tongue that when a right winger tells you all these things, that Biden has done wrong. You are ready with the answers to point out that all these things that they're blaming on Biden, it should be blamed on the people they think they want to defend. Private sector that is actually implementing all these guys. I can go from policy to policy to policy. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.